Have you always wanted to create an FPS game but you didn't know where to start? Well this series will help you not only create a FPS game but will show you the steps to making it. So let's dive into the first step, making a pistol in Blender. Quick mention before we start the tutorial, if you don't want to do all this, you can go to our Patreon and buy it only for $4. Anyways, back to the video. So the first thing that we're going to do is find a pistol reference and download it on Google. Then click on Y, then click on add, go down to image, then go to reference, then find the reference image that you have downloaded. After you found it, click it and then click on this blue button. Okay, now click on the image then press g and y push it back and then press on the cube click on object mode and then click on edit mode then press ctrl r split it now we're gonna go on the minus x axis and we're gonna go into wired edges then we're going to highlight both these two vertices okay now we're going to right click and press delete vertices this is going to make one side of it just deleted now go uh back to object mode and then go to solid mode go to properties of the cube and click on modifiers then click add modifier then click search search mirror and then click on it now uh now click on the y-axis and click on the x-axis so it's now on the x-axis and there you go now we are ready you know trace the gun now that we're ready to trace out the gun we're gonna press the y vector and then go to object mode press edit mode then go to wired edges and then highlight one of the vertices down here and then move this to the gun and now try to um you know trace out the gun uh by moving these vertices by just dragging and then um dragging it on the vertice you want to move and pressing g and then moving it onto the handle which we're tracing currently a uh, quick mention um also you can pr press ctrl r and then it'll create a loop cut and more vertices for you to move around how you like by just selecting them as as before okay now that you're done uh tracing out the handle we're going to select these two vertices if you have copied me uh cut these two vertices and then press e and then move it down here okay now we're gonna select these two vertices press g again and then move them to the correct spot after you're done tracing the grip of the gun press this vertice and then press a then G and then Y to make it less wide. Now go go and click faces and then press shift and then click the top face and then click also this top face and then press shift D I and then click and then right click and then press separate and then selection now go click edit mode and then click object mode and then you'll see you have another thing called cube uh double click it and then call it barrel and then call the previous cube grid now click on the barrel then click on object mode into edit mode and now click these two faces by pressing shift and then click and then go click on the y vector and then uh, press e to extrude it up now we're going to go to lines and then click these lines by pressing shift and then clicking it and then 
press Control b to bevel it and now we're going to create the muzzle okay now to make the muzzle we're going to click edit mode and then click object mode and we're going to click add and then we're going to click mesh and then we're going to go down to circle now make it a vertices like this i and then go into the minus x vector and then we're going to press wire edges and we're going to do um r y and then 90 i to put it on a 90 degree angle now we're going to press s to scale it down and then we're going to press g and then x to move it up and then scale it down a little bit more okay now we're going to press on the y vector and then we're going to click on the magnet i and then go here and then click on vertex and then have the snap base be closest as well after you put that then press g move it and then move it right like right there i um as you can see it's kind of like on you know the side over here so you're gonna have to press g and then um then press y and then move it a little bit over here just turn off this magnet thing and then press uh, y move it to the center and then press g z just move it up a bit what we're gonna do is click object mode and then click edit mode and then press e and then s i so it makes like many more faces yeah that that's pretty much good and we're gonna go to object mode now and we're actually going to go to faces and then we're gonna press a to highlight all the faces then we're going to press the Y vector and then press E to extrude. E to extrude that way. Uh, e to extrude on the X axis. We're just going to extrude it um, that big. I think that's pretty. And now we're going to go to edit mode. I And then we're going to click on the barrel. And then we're going to click on edit mode. And then we're going to click on, well, we're going to click on object mode and then click on edit mode. Now that you have done that, we're going to click minus X uh, vector. And then we're going to uh, move it by pressing this hand thing. And then now we're going to zoom in and then we're going to press K. Now we're going to click this and then cut out a circle by using, you know, the uh, muzzle that we have right here. And we'll just shape it to like how the muzzle looks like right and then after you do, you have cut out everything you need to um then press enter and then now if you click this there will be like another face here now click on the y vector then click on wired edges right and then press e and then extrude it back Okay, so now we're gonna select these two lines by pressing shift click and then shift click again. Press control B to bevel it. Now we're gonna create a circle just like this right here. So we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to object mode and we're gonna click add circle and then we're gonna do the same exact thing as before. Get, you know, R, Y, 90. And then we're gonna go into minus x vector and then press s i'm gonna make it smaller than this one g and then z we're gonna move it up then we're gonna turn uh, wired edges on get a little bit and then we're gonna do and then we're gonna do uh this again to move it down a bit okay and now i'm going to speed up the process of me moving it here because you guys uh probably already know what to do so Okay, now uh, you'll see this little, you know, thing here. Um, just delete it. Just go to object mode and then edit mode back again and then just delete face. Okay, now we're gonna click the grip and then we're gonna click object mode and then we're gonna click edit mode. And we're just gonna make it a bit nicer by doing G and Z to move this up a bit. And then also we're going to do shift and click that line and then shift click that line and then shift click this line and then we're going to do control b to bevel it and now we're going to go to here we're going to click this line and then shift click this line and then shift click this line and then we're going to do control well not, not control we're going to do g and then x to push it back here and then we're going to do same thing for here but we're not going to click the top one here we're going to do shift and click this line and then click
click this line and then click this line and then we're gonna do uh, G and uh, X again and then push it the opposite direction also we might as well click the barrel as well click object mode and then edit mode and then we are going to click this back face here but we need to also click these here and then so press G and X and then push it forward the gun oh no that's actually perfect that's actually uh, perfect right there okay now we're going to make the trigger of the gun so the first thing we're gonna do is gonna do control R here and then control R and then we'll I uh, and then we're gonna click faces and then we're gonna this face right here and then we're gonna press E to extrude it to extrude it and then bring it up G and Z and then uh do that and then we're gonna do control R we're gonna make another loop cut right here and then we're gonna do G Z again and we're gonna push that down now we're going to take this and do G and then X well no Y and then we're gonna make it smaller a bit smaller actually what we actually will do so that it is aligned with each other right here so we're gonna do S zero and then we're gonna do X so then it is aligned and now we're going to move it up to right here what I'll tell you right here at the end of this I and we might as well make it more might add some more stuff here so we might do we'll click this vertice and we'll do a Z and then we'll push it down a bit and then we'll also make this smaller as well we'll click lines and then we'll do G and then Y smaller and then we'll do G move it up a bit and then G and then Y again to make it smaller and then we'll do control R we'll do it like right I think oh no that's perfect yeah right there and then we'll do we'll go to faces and then we'll click this face and then we'll go to the Y uh, vertex I and then we'll do this and then we'll do G and then X push it this way then we'll press R to just turn it the right way now we need to make another loop cut up here do control R and then do this and then do another control R and then we'll turn this around so it looks kind of like a slash a bit I right, and then and then we'll actually turn this actually no I think that's good first we'll click shift and click that top one and then shift and then click this top one i mean bottom one now we'll press f and then we'll do shift and we'll click this one i will do shift and click this one and press f and then we'll do shift and then click that one and then shift and click that one. okay now we're going to create the trigger part Okay, now we are going to create the trigger. So we're going to click uh, edit mode and object mode. And then we're going to click mesh cube. And then we're going to do Z, I mean S to scale it down. And then we're going to go here and then we're going to move it. And then we're going to go into edit mode. We're going to go here, but we're also here. So we're gonna move it down. Uh, we're going to shape it to look like this trigger right here by um just dragging and then pressing g to move it and then highlight these two vertices and then uh press e to extrude it down press uh s to make it a little smaller um and then press g again and then move it down a bit um i'm gonna put it like right here and then press Control r and then make a a loop cut and then press uh, and then drag down your mouse and then press g to bring this a little forward over here then i probably extrude it more and press g and i'm gonna bring it like right there and then i'm gonna highlight this one probably want yeah no we probably want it to be zero we can do this and then we can uh, extrude it like that then make it zero again and then also drag this one down oh 
drag this one g and then we're gonna do control r and g okay well drag this one no drag this one g this way doesn't look that bad but then we have to pick these two vertices in the front then s zero enter and then go to object mode and then push it up on top and then we'll probably put e so the first attachment we're gonna make is the magazine so we're gonna click the grip and then we're going to click object mode and then edit mode um and then we're gonna go here then we're gonna just probably click like uh s and then well e and then s to extrude it like that and then we're gonna probably yeah, bring it up uh, we're gonna turn on wired edges and then we're gonna bring it up think yeah no, that goes outside of it so we're gonna have to do just make it so it's not out as much so we're gonna do like that um and then after go back into wired edges and then y press the y vector we shift d and then click then we have to click we have to right click it and then we have to press um separate and then selection and after you do that it's gonna make a another thing called grip and then you're gonna go to object mode and then we're gonna call this mag and then we're gonna click the y vector and then press well actually no then we're gonna click object mode and then we're gonna click edit mode and now we're gonna click this face right there the y vector and then press e okay now we're gonna do these little attachments up here so we're gonna add again and then we're gonna add a cube And then if you want to be a little bit extra fancy, if you just want to be a little extra fancy, you can just click one of these, go to edit mode, uh, go to the lines, click these two lines, so B to bevel it. This is if you want, you don't have to, uh, but just to make it a little bit more fancier. Okay, and now we are done with the gun guys and now we are ready to put this pistol into roblox studio so we can start scripting it to add gun mechanics to it also if you still need help go to our discord link in description also subscribe if this video helped you bye bye